Have you ever wondered why football is the most popular sport in the world? The answer, my friends, lies in the ancient origins of the game that we now know and love. Our tale begins thousands of years ago in the cradle of civilizations around the globe. In the Far East, in China, a game known as Kuju, or kickball, was played as early as the 3rd century BC. This game, which involved kicking a leather ball filled with feathers through an opening into a net, was recognized by FIFA as the earliest form of football for which there is scientific evidence. Meanwhile, over in Greece, a game called Episkiros was popular. It was a bit more rugged. Players would try to throw a ball over a scrimmage while avoiding tackles. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Fast forward to medieval England, where the games of our ancestors started to morph into something we'd recognize as football today. But let me tell you, it was a far cry from the organized sport we're used to. Imagine entire villages kicking a pig's bladder from one landmark to another, with virtually no rules to speak of. It was more of a mob than a match, and it got so chaotic that it was Where even am I? Anyone here? that it was even banned several times for being too violent. Yet despite its rough and tumble beginnings, or perhaps because of them, this game began to capture the imagination of the people. They loved the thrill, the camaraderie, the sheer unpredictability of it all, and so they kept playing, kept refining the rules, kept passing their love for the game down to the next generation. And that's how it started. From Kuju in China, Episkiros in Greece, to the wild and woolly games of medieval England, these ancient precursors laid the foundation for the modern game of football. So, from its humble, somewhat violent beginnings, football began to take root in the hearts of people. It was a game born out of passion, energy and a touch of chaos. And that, my friends, is where our journey begins. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the history of the world's most beloved sport. As the game evolved, so did the need for structure and rules. As much as football was enjoyed for its simplicity, it was clear that without a set of standardized rules, the game could easily descend into chaos. Now, let's take a step back to the mid-19th century. Football, as we know it, was taking form within the boundaries of English schools. However, each school had its own set of rules, leading to confusion and inconsistency. It was evident that a common set of regulations was needed to bring order to the game and ensure fair play. Enter the Football Association of England, established in the year of 1863. This was a pivotal moment in the game's history. The Football Association, or the FA as it's commonly known, took on the crucial task of standardising the rules of football. This was no easy feat, considering the varying styles of play and rules in existence at the time. The FA's initial set of rules laid the groundwork for what we understand as football today. These rules included elements we take for granted now, such as a standard pitch size, a defined goal area, and the concept of a penalty for foul play. It also outlined the number of players allowed on each team, which is 11, and established the duration of a match, which was set at 90 minutes. The formation of the FA and the standardization of rules marked a turning point for football. It gave the game a structure that was easily understood and could be replicated anywhere, leading to uniformity in the way it was played. No longer was it a game with fluctuating rules, but instead a sport with a clear and concise set of regulations. Crucially, these rules also made the game safer and more appealing to a wider audience. It allowed for fair competition and fostered a sense of sportsmanship among the players. With rules in place, football started to spread beyond the borders of England. And as we'll see in our next segment, this was just the beginning of football's journey to becoming the most popular sport in the world. Football didn't just stay in England, it started to conquer the world. As the fascination for this sport grew, it began to spread its wings beyond the British Isles in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The game travelled across the seas, reaching the shores of South America, where it was embraced with open arms. By the early 20th century, countries like Argentina, Uruguay and Brazil had already established their own football associations, and the sport was well on its way to becoming a national obsession. As football began to gain traction in various parts of the world, there was a need for a governing body to oversee the sport at an international level. Enter FIFA, the Federation Internationale de Football Association, established in 1904. With its headquarters in Zurich, Switzerland, 
FIFA set out the mandate to govern and promote football worldwide. The formation of FIFA marked a significant milestone in the globalization of football. But it was the advent of the World Cup that truly cemented football's position as a global sport. The first World Cup was held in 1930 in Uruguay, with teams from 13 countries participating. This inaugural tournament was more than a sporting event, it was a celebration of football's international appeal. The World Cup has since grown exponentially, now featuring teams from over 200 countries, making it one of the most watched events globally. This tournament's appeal lies not just in the spectacle of the games themselves, but also in the way it brings people together from all corners of the globe, united by their love for the beautiful game. From the humble beginnings in England to the World Cup's grand stage, football's journey has been nothing short of remarkable. It has transcended borders, cultures and languages, captivating hearts and minds along the way. This isn't just a game, it's a global language, a shared passion that resonates with millions worldwide. Football had now truly become a global phenomenon. Through its widespread appeal and the unifying power of the World Cup, football has indeed conquered the world. But why has football become the most popular sport in the world? Well, the reasons are manifold and interwoven. To kick things off, let's talk about the simplicity and accessibility of the game. All you need is a ball and you're good to go. It doesn't matter if you're in a bustling city park, a sandy beach, or even the narrow alleyways of a remote village, football can be played anywhere. This simplicity has made it a sport that transcends geographical boundaries, resonating with people from all walks of life. Now, let's consider the global reach of football. It's a sport that's celebrated on every continent, in every country. From the World Cup that unites nations every four years, to the local leagues that spark rivalries and ignite passions, football is a language that everyone speaks. It's a sport that has the power to bring people together, fostering a sense of community, camaraderie and shared excitement. And speaking of excitement, let's not forget the passion football inspires in fans. The thrill of a last minute goal, the agony of a near miss, the shared joy of a victory. These are the moments that create lifelong football fans. Who could forget the iconic overhead kick by Cristiano Ronaldo in the Champions League or the momentous hand of God goal by Diego Maradona in the World Cup? These memorable moments, etched in the annals of football history, have continued to fuel the passion of fans around the globe. In addition to all this, the modern era of football has seen the rise of superstar players and mega clubs, further cementing its place in the hearts of fans. The likes of Messi, Ronaldo and Neymar have become household names, their performances on the pitch inspiring a new generation of football enthusiasts. So, whether it's the simplicity of the game, its global reach, or the passion it inspires in its fans, football has a unique way of capturing the hearts of millions around the world. Football, it seems, captures something universal in the human spirit. Football is more than just a game. It's a global language, a culture, and for many, a way of life. It's a sport that transcends borders, languages, and cultures, creating a universal bond between people from all walks of life. Football's impact stretches far beyond the pitch. It's a catalyst for social change, fostering unity and camaraderie. The beautiful game has the incredible power to unite people, regardless of their socio-economic backgrounds, ethnicities or political ideologies. Consider how football brings people together. It's not just about the players on the field. It's about the shared passion amongst fans in the stands, those huddled around televisions in homes, bars and cafes, and the communities that form around local clubs. Football is a common thread that weaves through societies, fostering a sense of belonging and collective identity. Let's not forget about football's potential for social change. The sport has been used as a tool to address social issues and promote equality. From initiatives that use football to empower women and girls, to programmes that leverage the sport to promote peace and reconciliation in conflict-ridden areas, football has shown its potential to inspire change and make a real difference. The cultural impact of football is also significant. It has influenced music, fashion and art, establishing itself as a pivotal part of pop culture. Moreover, football has become a part of our everyday language, with phrases and terminologies from the sport making their way into our daily conversations. Football also plays a key role in economies worldwide. The sport generates billions in revenue, 
providing employment opportunities and contributing to economic growth. From the local level, where small businesses thrive on match days, to the global stage where mega events like the World Cup stimulate economic activity, football's economic impact is undeniable. In conclusion, football's influence extends well beyond the 90 minutes on the pitch. It is ingrained in our societies, our cultures and our lives. Football, in its simplicity and global reach, has the power to change the world. Yo, gather round, squad, cause I gotta spill the tea on how Skibbity and football turned Ohio into the ultimate vibe central. So, picture this, when Skibbity first hit Ohio, it was like a shockwave, right? That beat had us all on the edge, edging closer to the brink of pure hype. And then, add football into the mix. It's like pouring gasoline on a lit fire, fam. People were living on the edge of excitement, shy to the max, feeling that rush of adrenaline like never before. Where am I? Anyone here? Help. Somebody, please help me. Is anyone out there? I've been kidnapped. Help me. I don't know where I am. They took me. Please, someone, help. Max, feeling that rush of adrenaline like never before. Tailgates became the stage for epic skibbity showdowns, with crews edging closer and closer to the ultimate dance-off. Ain't nobody was yapping about anything else because it was all about that skibbity football fusion, turning Ohio into this electric playground where the energy was off the charts. So, yeah, skibbity and football? They ain't just a vibe, they're the whole dang lifestyle in Ohio, keeping us edging towards the next level of hype.